The measure of an arc is in degrees, while the arc length is a fraction of a circle's circumference. An arc of 60 degrees represents 60 out of 360, or one-sixth of the circle. So its arc length is one-sixth of the circumference of the circle. We'll use theorem 1010 to help us find the length of an arc. The length of an arc of a circle is the product of the ratio of the arc measure to the measure of the whole circle times the circumference of the circle. It is possible for two arcs of different circles to have the same measure but different lengths. The measure of arc DC is 70 degrees and the measure of arc GH is 70 degrees, but notice that the length of arc GH is longer than the length of arc DC. It is also possible for two arcs of different circles to have the same length but not the same measure. Notice that the length of arc CB is congruent to the length of arc FH. However, the measure of arc CB is 175 degrees, while the measure of arc FH is 100 degrees. Congruent arcs are arcs that have the same measure and the same length. They can be in the same circle or in congruent circles. In example four, we will find arc length. What is the length of each arc shown in red? Leave your answer in terms of pi. For example A, arc XY has a measure of 90 degrees. So the ratio of arc XY to the entire circle is 90 to 360, or 1 to 4. So the length of arc XY will be 1 fourth of the entire circumference of the circle. Now let's find the circumference. We know that the circumference will be pi times the diameter, so 16 pi. Since the length of arc XY will be 1 fourth of the entire circumference 16 pi, we will take 1 fourth of 16 pi. 16 pi divided by 4 gives us an arc length of 4 pi. In example B, arc XPY is 240 degrees out of 360 total degrees for the circle or two-thirds of the circumference. Since we are given the radius of the circle, we'll use 2 times the radius, 30, times pi. So the circumference is 30 pi. So the length of arc XPY will be two-thirds of the entire circumference, 30 pi. 60 pi divided by 3 is 20 pi. So the length of arc XPY is 20 pi centimeters. Pause the video and do you try number four. What is the length of a semicircle with radius 1.3 meters? Leave your answer in terms of pi. Let's start by drawing the picture. We know a semicircle is half the circle or 180 out of 360 degrees. We also know the radius is 1.3 meters. Let's use the radius to help us find the circumference of the circle. We know the circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, so we'll take 2 times the radius, so 2.6 times pi. So the length of the semicircle will be half of the entire circumference, 2.6 pi. 2.6 pi divided by 2 is 1.3 pi, so the length of the semicircle will be 1.3 pi meters long. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions about the lesson check, be sure to ask me in class. The challenge is an excellent way to go past your limit. See if you can tackle the challenge question. Now take another minute to reread the learning goal and scale. Have you climbed any higher on the scale than where you were before we began the lesson? If you work through the challenge question, here's your answer.